Today on Cars and Coding, we're going to be installing some puddle lights that will shine the VW symbol down on the ground so you're going to look like you got a brand new car on your Mark 7 Golf Sport Wagon or All Track or Mark 7 GTI Golf whatever one if you don't if you don't have these lights in the doors like you just have a reflector in there then you have to wire it up you're gonna, you're gonna need some wire okay and you can buy all this stuff online and I'll have links in the video description on where to buy it all right let's go open the door what do you see down here nothing there's no light here this is a reflector see this thing right here you can just pop that baby out boom there's nothing there this is a freaking reflector it has no light in it okay worthless all right so let's start taking out some bolts all right first of all we got this thing right here oh this comes off like that and what do we see oh we see a star right there we got a star torx i don't know what size we're gonna figure it out all right looks like this is a t35 There's another one right here. It's hard to see, but it, believe me, there's one in there. All right, this guy here, this is a 10 millimeter. Just gotta make it so it's that way. It'll come off. Oh yeah, it comes off, okay. See that? Alright, so we got that this bolt here, that screw, that screw. I think that's all it's holding this door on. Alright, here we go. We got our assortment of pry tools. Let's get to prying. off so maybe right here I think it's off oh no it's off all right I gotta take all this crap off I don't know all right so issue is this is not long enough um, so we need to extend that now the other issue I have is that I don't have this kind of wire what do I have I have speaker wire from uh, 1995 when, my, when I was in college and I had speakers hooked up in the basement um, and you know what it's not oxidized or anything so that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna use, and uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna use. We are going to cut this. And then splice it. Oh yeah, see this this kind of wire. This isn't even copper core. This is uh, aluminum or something. So we're, it's not the speaker wire isn't even isn't even bad. We're gonna put some heat shrink tube. Uh, we're gonna cut this. I need more than that. Oh. I got my little 
heat shrink tubing. Let's stick it on there. You gotta put this on before you attach them, obviously. All right, then we're gonna take, I'm gonna go with the copper for the red, and we're just gonna twist these guys together. See, when I took electricity class in high school, I made sure, say that this needs to be tight, so tight you can rip it. I'm gonna rip the mother. See? So, that's cool. There we go. Now, do the same thing on the other side. Heat shrink tubing. Wrap it. Got some uh, solder from Radio Shack. This is probably 1995 vintage as well. We're gonna see how good that works. Let's go to Solder Town. Good. Pull up the heat shrink tubing. All right, now we're looking at this guy here. Push, pull this down like that. And then this should come out, it does. This hair black twist tie. I want to take that off. Take that off. You got this white part here. I need a little pick. There is a clip right here. And then this will come up like that. So I believe the brown wire is the negative. Looks like there's a little number 16 down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so sixteen. Sixteen, that's where we get that's where we need to put the red wire. So 16 is the red, that's where the red wire goes. Yeah, it's in. Put it in. Now the brown one, oh, they even make it brown. I gotta put it in to that brown. But we don't wanna, we can't untake, we can't take that off, so we need to we need to solder it on here somehow. I think we'll take the brown one out. Okay. Got it out. Take it out of this wrapper here. Before I do that, I'm gonna just take a little bit off. All right, I'm gonna put this shrink, ink shrink tubing on here. And then I'm just gonna strip off a little bit. All right, now we got her. I'm gonna put this on here. Solder that. Should 
pretty good. Seat shrink tube on here. Stick this back in here. Mm, plugged in. All right, now we got them all plugged in. And this here is going to go down. Glue the thing back on. So now this part goes back up in here. top part in first and then see that got the wires hanging out here and then we just got to put the bolts back in so in uh, VCDS you go to select control module electric driver coating long coating helper then when you're in long coating helper you have to hit the hit the down arrow to get to bite one this so is bite one and then right here you can see door egg door exit warning light installed that's the one you want right there door exit warning light installed and then you go to Escape will close L code. What do I need to do? Up. Yeah, that's fine. It's there now. Ambient lighting installed. I don't know that yet. Exit. I'm just gonna I'm gonna press the do it but look here's the light over here I don't have it plugged in I mean I have it plugged in but I don't have it installed watch when I hit do it boom turns on see coding coding accepted we accept you we accept you one of us one of us all right, and that's it. Now we're done with that one. And then you can shut that down. Now we're gonna install that. Oh, one other thing. So you're gonna do the exact same thing for a door electric passenger when you hook up the passenger side. So that's the other thing you need to do. But I'm not gonna do that yet because I don't want power going to that while I'm installing it. Let's Shoot the wires up in there. Yeah. 
Here it is. I just want to show you that it does uh, turn off when you close the door. Oh, looky there! It's a little VW symbol! Yay! Very nice. Yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching this Puddle Light installation video for the Mark 7. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Auf Wiedersehen!